Hi, I'm Greg McIntyre. We're going to talk about something really cool. I'm with attorney Jane Deerwester, which is an a litigation attorney at McIntyre Elder Law. And Jane handles, and I've handled a lot in the past, something called elective share. So let's say, Jane, <laughs> this is something that can really, really help a spouse when they get shorted in a will, a, a trust, or any other type of estate. So let's say, you know, I really tick my wife off the last few years of our marriage. Okay. She's not happy with me because of something I'm doing or I did, which is totally possible. And uh, that sounds like a fiction. And, and she writes me out of her will mm. or she leaves me $1. She says, Greg, you get one dollar and since she's taken all my money throughout my life she has all of it all my property like i'm gonna get like a dollar if she passes away and you know what she does she passes away steph don't do this i love you but <laughs> she passes away okay if that happens and we go to this will reading okay we're at the will reading and I'm shocked and appalled that I'm getting a dollar, which is a really Southern backhanded way to cut somebody out of a will. I'm going to leave yeah. them a dollar. Okay. Worse than nothing. Right. Cause you're like acknowledging. I'm going to give you a smile and some sweet tea yeah. and stab you in the back at the same yeah. time. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you directly that I don't like you. I'm cutting you out of the will. All right. So, so yes, there is, something that i can do as a spouse as her spouse i could utilize nc general statute 30-3.1 30-3.1 rights to elective share and that means i can elect to take a certain portion of her total net assets that doesn't mean probate assets that doesn't mean trust assets that means all the assets that she had that she's passing along to her boyfriend okay and she's leaving me her hard working husband a dollar okay so i'm like I'm, i feel a certain way about her boyfriend getting a hundred percent of the total of that net assets minus a dollar and because we've been married for over 15 years then I can take 50%. I can claim and file a petition for elective share within the estate, within the probate estate, for 50% of total net assets, which means, again, not just what's changing title through the probate estate, not what, what's been placed in her trust, but both of those things, in addition to. I believe it's any life insurance that's going by beneficiary in addition to any investment accounts, IRAs, anything else where the boyfriend's the beneficiary, where, where someone other than the spouse is the beneficiary. And we, we can sit down when we do in a consult, sit down and total all those assets. Say, so, okay, these are all the assets. 50% of those equals this number. It could be other property, personal property, vehicles, diamond rings. Mm -hmm. It can also be, again, retirement accounts, insurance, bank accounts. But just because I am slighted or shorted as a spouse and I feel that way doesn't mean I have to take it. The North Carolina law has cared for spouses in the elective share statute, depending on the time that you've been married. So the longer you've been married, the more that percentage goes up and it caps out 15 years plus equals 50%. So it doesn't matter if she tries to cut me out. I can still claim up to 50% as long as we've been married 15 years or more. And if you've been we've been married less than 15 years, then 
I get a lower percentage than 50%. Okay. But I still get more than my dollar. She was leaving me in the will. Okay. Yeah. And that's essentially the elective share. And I've used elective share, you know, for an attorney, Jane, yeah. it's great to have your eye on elective share when you're meeting with someone and reviewing a will or a probate case. It's a great tool to go back and really help a client who's a spouse, right? Yeah. And cover what they need. And, and I know you're different? you're handling some elective shares too. Yeah. How's it different from the spousal allowance? So it's not. That's what I was be, like. Is that the same thing? And it can be, it is not the same thing. Okay. So a spousal allowance allows a spouse without opening a probate estate to simply throw down, I want 60,000 of personal property only. Okay. The first 60,000 of personal property only. So I can get my first 60 there. Now that would be lumped in the overall 50% of total net assets. Gotcha. In That's that right. calculation, right? But then I want to open the estate or if the estate's open, I want to file a petition for elective share within that probate estate to make sure that I max out my 50% that, that I'm allowed. Okay. And I may be the one you might have to handle my probate estate after <laughs> Stephanie sees this. Okay. That's my <laughs> wife sees this, but it's a good illustrative tool. And I tell all kinds of stories. You guys, if you come That's to one it. of our seminars, I probably kill myself off a number of different ways or my wife <laughs> um, to illustrate different points, which is fun about being a state planning and elder law attorney. You got to make it light somehow. You got to keep it light. That's right. Um, That's right. We're talking about some pretty uh, heavy major, subjects. big decisions, heavy subjects, life and death. So I agree when I'm doing my seminars and speaking to clients, we have to try to keep it light a little bit. That's why we have the Dead Greg series. Okay. Yes. Indeed. Because something people really do, Jane, have a tr trouble with, I think men more than women, is facing our own mortality. Yes. Is talking about death because we're all in the same game. Yeah. It's such a short time period we're here and we're all going to die. That's something I say sometimes in my seminars. I said, hey, I hate to break it to you but none of us are going to live forever. It's just, we, we haven't, we, we don't have that technology. Give myself a shot, Jane. I told yeah. you I'm going to 150, then I'm being frozen. Okay? I believe it. I, I believe put myself it. in your conference room in the corner and I'm just going to breathe. <laughs> it's all be out in a thousand years. We're ready. <laughs> but, or you do the Silicon Valley way, which is escape velocity. You just have to make it one more day. It's just always making it one more day. Ah, I see. Right. So, so, all right. Um, heavy subjects i think people need to understand that once you embrace it like look this is just death is part of life yeah. and i want to plan to protect my spouse exactly. care for him or her i want to plan to protect myself during my life and i want to perhaps leave a legacy for my children and grandchildren minimize taxation and maximize what i'm able to carry on Right. And help my, my family build over time. Um, yeah. I say it's the ultimate act of adulting, right? It is a, it it's is adulting at its finest, it, at its height. I think, like, I think it is high, a high level of accountability and responsibility. Yes. Yeah, it is. And, and, and if you're a spouse who on purpose or inadvertently gets really shorted in an estate, a will, a trust, an estate plan, which could be on purpose. I mean, you know, yeah. we, we can be hired to represent just one spouse. Okay. And who do the other spouse, right? right. Or how about gun for our client, right? Well, we see that a lot with, you know, blended families, like second, yeah. third, fourth marriages where people are coming in with different backgrounds, different children from different biological parents. And they really do come in with their own idea of what they want to do. And maybe this spouse, number three, they already have their own money and they say, no, I don't want this spouse to get anything. And everybody's seemingly in agreement with it at the time. And then maybe not so much uh, after that person passes away. 
True. Yes. Yeah. I mean, oddly enough, um, a little money. Yes. It, 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 for a family, especially a blended family. Yeah. Right. With stepmoms yeah. and dads. It's like yeah. blood in the water to sharks sometimes. They just. Yes. They come out of the woodwork. And get into a frenzy. Right. Yeah. Fighting over that. So. Yes. But we can help. Um, yeah. I, I would say if you wanted to sit down with myself or one of our attorneys and talk about your estate plan so you can plan around these things or um you know if elective share could be an issue to help you uh, where you have maybe not been left your fair share out of a relationship where a spouse has passed away then i would offer a free consult and you can take advantage of that by calling 1-888-999-6600 or you can go online to mcelderlaw.com slash scheduling and schedule right on our calendars online. And I hope everybody out there has a great day. Stay tuned for the next Elder Law Report. Thank you, James, so much Thank you. for being a part of this one. Thank you.